Welcome back. And now we want to add another column. We want to add another segment of our column or onto our column. Remember that the full height of our of our column is approximately 15. Uh, 15 or uh, I mean 16 million 16 meters high so we want to add another segment here that will be uh, 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 co connected here through flange flange connection so I'll come to uh, steel here and uh, come to uh, come to column so in this particular case I want to double click on this I want to double click on this member so that I'll default on it let me just double click on it so that we don't go back and uh, try feeding. We want to default on this, on this, on, on this, on this profile. So let me just set as default, apply and give it an OK. So if I come here and just snap on top of on, on top of the center of that particular member here, I'll be able to have that in place. So I'll not go back and try to feed in the exact information right there. So uh, as I had showed you, this was six meters. So I, let's just change this to six meters. That is the only detail that will change uh, from the default that we have just created here. So let me just uh, type in here six meters and click apply. So once I've clicked apply, so there's a connection here. So some people prefer welding, but this is a very weird uh, length of, 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 of steel that uh, will be very hectic to transport to site unless you're doing your, your, your welding on site. And also uh, erection will be very, very hectic to, 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 uh, to conduct. So it's always, uh, you chop this into a sizable, uh, a sizable segments that uh, are, are transportable and uh, you can use uh, a cheap a cheap uh, crane to lift up these components uh, for during installation. That's why we always prefer you, you segment them into into uh, lightweight uh, segments. So that's why you can see we changed that we, we did that five meters. So that is six meters. So we want to create a flinch connection here between this member and that member. So that the point now we go back to uh, base plate. So we are going to use a base plate macro here to create to create uh, a flange connection here. So that will just mark, uh, customize it to match whatever you want. So I'll come to base plate here. So if I come to where's base plate right there, and I'll come to hollow section base plate. So I'll select on this. So the moment I select on that, I'll be able to see my base plate in place. So I'll double click on it once again so that we get. I get the edit, edit, uh, editing dialog box. So I've double clicked on it, but the editing dialog box I've got is just for the the plate you, you see at the bottom end here. So I'm still, still selected, I'll press letter M on the keyboard and enter on the keyboard once again. This will bring the ed editing or uh, property dialog box of, of that particular uh, hollow section base plate. So we are going to modify this to match to create our uh, flange connection between the bottom column and the top column here. So if you see we have two 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 scenarios here. We have box section and this is not box section. This is, this is a hollow section or a tube set, a tube section. So I'll come to tube section here. So under tube section we have this. So uh, from the edge of, of our pipe, I'll give it probably approximately maybe. Uh, maybe a hundred, hundred will be okay. Hundred, hundred is okay. And um, from the edge of our pipe to the center of the bolt, I can give it maybe fifty will be okay. This will be fifty. And uh, the height of our stiffeners here, we can give it. We can give it fifty, but we can give it one fifty. One fifty will be okay. But the chamfer dimensions here, I can give it maybe that. I can give it eighty. And this one also, I can give it 80. So uh, the holes I need, how many holes do we need? We need approximately uh, 12 of them. The dia should remain at 20 because that is the size. The whole size is 20. I can just give it 22 because uh, uh, the bolt uh, will be M20. So uh, uh, hole count, this, is, will be, this will be 12. And the whole angle will be zero. A 
about the center of this particular column. So um, if once that has been done, also remember to check the stiffness. So if I check on the stiffness, stiffness here, that is when the stiffness will be created. So once you've done so, uh, go ahead, just click apply. So if you click apply, you will be able to see you'll have the stiffness in place. So uh, that is what we've created and we have that in place. So you can see the bottom end we don't have and I'll show you how we can create a similar thing to the to the top of the, of the bottom column so that it measures the base. And how do we create that? We want to create that by using a different method. We are going to, remember if I select on this, right click and come to special select assembly, you'll be able to see this has been selected as an assembly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this as an assembly and uh, come here and select on that. So I'll press control and select the, the top end and I'll remain with this one here. So I want to mirror this. So how do I mirror it? And that is another th another uh, hurdle that lies ahead of us because uh, creating the top flange will be somehow tricky unless we modify this particular macro. So I'll come to Alt D alt d once again and i want to i want to create you see we have a share key here but that, that we don't intend to use but this will be useful to us just to uh, for the purposes of uh, mirroring this to the opposite direction so we want to create we want to first of all shift our XYZ plane. So let me just come here and come to special copy and mirror. If I mirror on that, uh, that will not uh, probably work, but it might work for us. We'll just try it out and uh, I'll uh, just snap on that spot and maybe uh, snap on, 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 on the edge of this right there. So if I try that, if I try that and we have our mirror in place. So let's try run and see how whatever comes, we will be able to deal with it. So uh, that's it, and it's not accurate. So you can see that it's not accurate. It's, if I press Alt D, you'll be able to see it is in the same same place, and it's messy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Control Z. So once I press Control Z, I'll be able to get rid of that one. So this particular case, let me just select on this column and right click and come to hide. So I want to hide this. I want to hide selected so that uh, I have this in place. So since we don't have, we don't need this uh, share key, I just select on that. Press letter M and enter on my keyboard so that we can disable this share key here because we don't need it anymore and we don't intend to use it anywhere. So let's just give it some time to, to for the dialog box to appear so that we, we get rid of this particular key here. So here we are, we have share key in place. We have the share key in place and we can just go ahead and, and uh, disable it. So if you click apply and, uh, and give it an okay here and give it an okay right there, you'll be able to off, it will be off the point. So, we want to mirror this, and to mirror this, first of all, we have to first of all define our, our, our XYZ plane. So our XYZ plane, how will it work? Now that will be the problem now. Now we want to create, we want to mirror this. I'll come to view right there, and I'll come to view, and come to option here, and put on the surface here. I'll try put it on the surface here, Put in the surface right there. So once I've done so, I'm going to right click, right click once again, or press escape right there. We'll just right give you some time to respond. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click once again, and there we are. Right, right click once again, and uh, it's not responding. So I think we'll meet on the next presentation on how we can do this. It'll take a little bit shorter time because I can see time is going and I don't want to use so much time in creating this. So let's meet or do it on the next presentation. Bye-bye.